It's Angie from Canterbury Trails Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to loom knit a um, dishcloth. There are a number of cotton yarn products out there that you can um, get. You can just use cotton yarn or um, there's a yarn called Scrubbies and it ha it's cotton and it has little like fringes on there. And this one is going to be uh, it's a, like a different color kind of thing, variegated sort of thing. And um, these, when they when they um, loom knit up, they have a little bit of a texture to them, so they wipe really good. It clean things really good. You can also get an all nylon like scrubby kind that makes sort of like a dish scrubber. Um, so let let's get started. Um, this is a simple project. So if you've already been watching some of my loom knit projects, this one's going to seem pretty easy compared to some of the other ones. Basically, all you're doing is a rectangle. Um, so, and it's sort of up to you to decide, you know, how big you want it and everything. And, uh, let's, uh, let, let me turn this camera down and we'll, um, watch it on the loom. I'm going to be using 22 pegs. Um, if you want yours, remember when it, whatever you put on the loom, it will come off smaller. Standard loom process here. You need to loop it around your, um, pegs. I always do the loop on the outside and the, like little twist on the quote unquote inside here. And then because this is our first row, we're going to flip back around and do a double row right here. Your looming is going to be just like the other videos, you're just going to pull it in that little groove. There's a groove on each peg. You're going to hook it in there and you're going to pull it over the next one. It's a little hard for me to do it. <laughs> the long loom here in the camera, so I'm sorry if I'm covering it up here. And these don't have a cuff or anything. So there's, um, it's just a straight, same thing, rectangle, until you get to the end and take it off. I know um, the afghans and socks and hats, I do a cuff. Keep on doing it. Length, and I would say desired length is probably going to be about 8 inches, because remember it's going to shrink up some. You can already see the scrubby texture here happening. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, work on this for a while. Hi. Okay, um, I am um, have gotten the um, dish cloth. Uh, finished on the loom and we're going to take it off the same way we take off any other loom project if you've been watching the loom projects use whatever needle you usually use to take off um, your loom projects with plastic metal and you want to leave uh, li about 18 to 24 inches when you cut just to be on the safe side you're going to slip your needle in that groove pull it through the loop With the last loop, that'll take it off the loom. I ended up doing about 10 inches long, I think. Um, probably um, you could do it a little wider too if you wanted to, because this will shrink up a little bit. Um, but it's a nice size when it's folded. I mean, it's a nice size dishcloth for uh, washing dishes. So I have my uh, loops off, and I'm just going to go through each one.
All right, so here's my edge up there that I've done. Now I'm just going to sew around the corner. Now, if you wanted to, if you can make a loop on your corner and secure it, and then you can go around and blanket stitch on it and make it like a durable, like, like a crocheted loop. Cut my heavy yarn. There we go. It's a dishcloth. That is probably one of the easiest looming projects um, to make. You can make dish towels too if you wanted to do them longer. So there's my little dishcloth. So that's a pretty easy loom knitting project. Um, probably if I was sitting down, it probably would take 20 to 30 minutes. To Thank you for joining us. And if you are unfamiliar with other loom knitting, make sure you check out my other loom knitting um, videos because, um, you know, I do different things in them and show different close-ups. And, and uh, sometimes if you're not getting it, uh, watching different projects, one or the other will, will allow the concept to gel and, and click in your in your head there. So um, it really is a, a really pretty a simple um skill and it, you can make so many useful things um, for your family for your house and it's just fun so uh, thank you for joining us and I hope this was a fun project to um, watch the tutorial for.